Hey, this is Bill Pesco Salido coming to you from my home office outside of Dallas, Texas. And if you're watching this video, you're probably wondering how to overcome objections. So in today's video, I'm going to isolate six key steps in how to overcome objections. So stick around and check it out. All right, so you are in the sales profession or you're in a home-based business, you know, network marketing profession, and, you're, and you wanna know how to overcome objections. So uh, today's video, I'm gonna share with you six steps in the process of how to overcome objections. So the first step in how to overcome objections is you don't want, let me back up, your, your prospect or, or the person you're trying to work with, a potential client, has tossed out an objection to you. And one common mistake that I often see is the person then immediately jumping right in to try and answer it. So the, the objection comes up and then boom, almost before the person even finishes the objection, you're all of a sudden trying to overcome it. You, you, you're, you're jumping in, you're, you're like, oh, I can answer that. And it, it comes across or it could come across as a little desperate um, or a little needy uh, or, or even that you're being defensive. You know, if, if you immediately rush in to, to, to overcome the objection and just hammer it home and, you know, swoop it to the side and, and, and move forward, I think your prospect might be kind of put off by that. So instead, what I want you to do is pause for a moment. You know, be mindful of the fact that this person has an objection and that there could be a very solid reason behind their objection. So understand that, be mindful, and take a moment to pause and, and understand really what their objection is. Step two in how to overcome an objection is really to be an active listener. So they've thrown the objection at you, you've, you've paused for a bit, you've been mindful of it, you're, you're, you're understanding it. Now you want to demonstrate that you actually care, right? And you do that by being an active listener. So for example, I would say, so if I'm understanding you, if, I'm, if I understand you correctly, Mr. Prospect, you're concerned about X, Y, and Z. Or you could say, so if I'm hearing you right, it sounds like what you're really concerned about is yada, 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 right? So you wanna repeat back the objection to them and demonstrate that you're being an active listener so that A, you can allow them to confirm, in fact, that that is their objection, and B, it shows that you're really working with the client, uh, establishing trust, and really trying to understand what their objection is to help them get through it. Step three in how to overcome, overcome objections, you want to really explore their objection a little bit further. So for example, you might say, I understand that the, the comp plan is, is really kind of what's hanging up here, you know, hanging you up here, Mr. Prospect. Uh, why is that specifically? Or another way to address it would be, so I get that shipping costs are, are extremely important to you. Is that what's most important to you? Or are there other things that are important as well? So by digging a little bit deeper and, and really probing more um, with the objections or with the specific objection, you'll really allow the client or the prospect to now elaborate more. And, and it'll enable a better understanding between you and the prospect on what really is going on here. Because sometimes, frankly, people will throw out objections and that's not really the objection. You know, maybe there's a hidden objection underneath. Uh, maybe the objection really is money um, or they don't have enough money or, you know, the, the cost of, of the item. That could be the real objection. And this objection that they're throwing out now is kind of a dummy objection. It's, you know, they're really afraid to get the root of it, to the root of it. So if you probe a little bit deeper and say, you know, is that really what's most important to you? Um, or, you know, why specifically are, are shipping costs so important to you? or I understand you want to really understand the compensation plan, Mr. Prospect, um, is that the most important thing to you in a business opportunity? And so when you dig a little bit deeper, again, it allows for, for more discovery, uh, more truth to come out, and at the same time, it's showing that you really are trying to work with the prospect or the potential client to get them through this objection. Step number four in how to overcome objections is to uh, is to, to address it through a short story. 
So you, you've done the discovery, you, you've uncovered um, you know, the root of this, you, you've asked some questions, you, you've been empathetic to the fact that they have the objection. Now it's time to provide an answer to their objection, and you do that through a short story, like I just said. So for example, you might um, reference a testimonial from a happy client. You, know, you share a story that, that a client who experienced a similar uh, problem, you know, they also had that same concern and how that concern was resolved for them. And then you want to share the results that this happy client has now received as a result of your product or your service. Um, if it's more of a, a product oriented thing, like in the home based business, you could share now your own results, right? So a brief short story, a testimonial of how you've benefited from this opportunity, how you've, you've benefited from the product itself, um, how it's, it's helped you in your life, your, 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 with your, your body or your weight or your energy or whatever your product is. You could also share through a short, short story how your life has changed now as a result of being a part of this opportunity or, or by using the product. Uh, step number five in how to overcome objections would be to check back in now with the prospect. So after you shared the short story, you shared the testimonial of a client, you, you shared you know, your results from, from being in this opportunity as well, you want to check back in and say, hey, does that make sense? Or does that answer your question? It's very important to, to then get them to say yes, right? You, we, we need to have closure uh, and, and this, this objection has to be resolved to the satisfaction of the prospect. Right? Not to your satisfaction. That really doesn't matter here. It has to be resolved and overcome to the satisfaction of the prospect or the client before you can move forward. So by checking back in with just a real quick, you know, does that make sense or does that answer your question? And if they're saying yes, then you know you can move on. And then finally, step number six in how to overcome objections is to move forward. Um, and, and one thing that I know it sounds obvious, but what I say to the person after I've checked in, you know, I've, I've answered their, their objection, I've now checked back in, does that make sense? I want to move forward. I'll say, great, sounds like we're ready to move forward. And again, as long as you're getting a positive reinforcement, they're saying, yep, ready to move forward, then you can go on and move towards the close. So that pretty much sums up the six steps to, on how to overcome objections. Uh, I hope you liked this video today. And if you did, you know, please feel free to share this with others. You know, comment below, share this with your team or with other people that you think could benefit from this video. Also, if you want to check out more tips on how to overcome objections or just sales strategies in general, feel free to go to my blog, which is BillPescoSolitoBlog.com. And also you can check out my fan page. Um, as well as uh, my YouTube channel as well. So subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can get more updates like this. Uh, go to the fan page, you know, click like and share if you will. And I hope this was helpful to you. I hope you got some value and I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video.